Hey everybody, if anybody is not watching this live, there will be a timestamp pinned after the stream is all finished and processed and all that where you can jump right to the start, but it's not going to take us very long. I've already tweaked the graphic settings and we should be good to go in just a minute. I'm just doing a couple other quick changes here and then we'll be getting this on the way. Oh, there's my ugly face. <laughs> All right. I think we are pretty much good to go. How's it going, Rank? One, how are you doing tonight, man? Thanks for hanging out so much earlier today, too. Uh, there. I guess it was just glitching a little bit when I was rolling around. All right. Okay, so without any further ado, I haven't seen any of this either. When I was doing the graphic settings, I actually skipped through the cutscenes, like every single one of them. Uh, so I have no idea, but we will be doing a no new game here starting right away. I just want to make sure that the settings are still what they were supposed to be. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we are going to be starting a brand new game. We are going to be doing it on classic difficulty. So, in case you don't know, it's harder than hard. Uh, so, on hard, for players who want a tough challenge, enemies are more dangerous, police will respond to more crimes and fewer UI indicators. On classic, enemies are lethal, police respond to more crimes, fewer UI indicators, and ammunition left in the clip is lost when you're reloading. So, uh, we will... We will be going with that. Uh, Monster Hunter World says the first stream on Civ is still up. YouTube bug. Actually, I just deleted it like literally a minute or two ago, like right before I went live here. So it should be better now, I think. And if not, yeah, it's just YouTube. I'll fix it after and, and, and deal with it. I'm just more excited to get into this game. All right. So here we go, boys and girls. We're going to go with classic. I'll leave everything on the default for now and we'll figure it out after. And let's go ahead and start this. So again, I haven't seen any of this, so I am actually going to pop over to my streaming software quickly here. And I'm going to take my face and stuff off for the introduction here so it's more cinematic and enjoyable. And you don't have to see my ugly face. So, I mean, it's a win-win-win, right? Okay, we are good to go. We are back in business. <laughs> Rank one, thanks for your support as always, man. I like the little onset chair, that's cute. Okay, so I'm gonna mute myself too, just so the dogs don't be loud.
you, Tommy. Thomas Angelo, Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respect in badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you yeah. said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money, some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got, a sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. You wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. <laughs> Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss, yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! So the driving in this, because we're on the hardest mode, is very Patrol realistic. Vehicle, walk away. I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble. Drive. So you're going to have a good I'm laugh at my expense. Be there. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. We just got to lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? One for now. But there will be more. All right, so... Hold tight. I'm going to try some. Who were those guys? I'd like to... You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. 
Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. Your leg okay up there? Hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. All right, so just quickly, hey everybody! Sorry, I didn't get to say hi back to you, Nemesis. I had the mute or the mic muted there because I didn't want to ruin the whole intro movie and all that kind of stuff. But uh, happy you're here. And Rank One says, "Is this a game or a movie?" It's a little bit of both. This is one of the reasons why Mafia is my favorite franchise, especially when it comes to this stuff. Like I hand down like like Mafia way better than the Grand Theft Auto franchise, just because it's so plot driven. Like you're gonna see the story is just so so good. The dialogue is on point, and I can't wait to play this because when it first came out and I was a kid, I was too poor to own a computer, so I had to play it at my friend's house, and I literally have only played a couple of hours of this. However, I have played Mafia Two and Mafia Three, so. I love the franchise, but this is going to be all brand new to me. So with that being said, please don't spoil it if you do know how the game ends, because I have no idea. I'm a little bit perturbed, to be completely honest, that we're starting off playing the game as a fucking rat. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that, but I mean, I guess we'll have to kind of kind of see how the story plays out and see what exactly, like, how exactly we become this rat. Uh, but for now, we are driving a cab. Also, uh, let me know whether you want me to shut my face off uh if that is the case because i'm going to put it back on right now but i'll i will shut it off if it's distracting and i can always change it as well um and minimize it and whatever if i'm taking up too much room but we'll put it in for now and then we can adjust as we go here but yeah so we're back into the story uh, like I said, I did all the graphic testing already, so we should be good to go. We're on 4K. Uh, we'll be running between 50 and 65 frames. Basically, it kind of fluctuates depending on the scene and what's happening and whatnot. Uh, but altogether, it's pretty smooth, and the graphics are significantly better from, like, I, we tested out 1440p with ultra settings, or, like, they're uh, optimal, whatever is their word for it. And then, like, the settings we're running on 4K right now, and it looks significantly better, even though we were running between 70 and 80 frames a second on uh, 1440p. But this is what we decided to go with, so this is what we're going to go know. with. Might be okay. But in the meantime, let's let's, call we got to hey, be I careful, because the cops, you don't get to listen either. The cops will pull us over for speeding, because, so uh, again, we're on the, the hardest difficulty there is, so, like, it's simulation mode, it's... Like, we can get in trouble easily with the cops, and damage is going to be significant. So, this should be interesting while I get used to the game. I haven't haven't played this, but I did play a lot of Mafia 3, so I assume it's pretty well the same, because I, I think, basically, it's a very similar game engine. Hey, Cappy! Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. Jesus, he's lippy. Yeah, I think I'm too big, eh? Should I should shut the face off, or what do you think? Or the ah shit! Gotcha I know some shortcuts that'll slow him down. I don't care how you do oh, it. I sure don't. Just shake him off. Alright, this looks like one here. I guess the shortcuts are... These are, like, the shortcuts. That was your shortcut? I lost them tonight. Not all of them! These guys really don't like it, do they? Sometimes business partners fall out. It happens. Quit yapping, Polly. Alright, so it looks like there's another one over Marty here. Knows. More chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. Okay, here we go. We got another one in front of us. I might have to be a pussy and lower the difficulty if this goes too rough. We'll have to see how it goes. Hey, Callum, how's it going? One uh, of a wheel, man. I'll Monster Hunter back. asks... They must uh, just say a word out. There's more... Okay, so we have to get out of this, like, red area, I guess. So the quickest route would be the bridge. Uh, or do we keep losing them is the question. Uh... Monster says your face is, is okay. Always nice to see your reactions. Okay, no worries. Let me know too if you want me to shrink it down a little bit. Like I can I can modify the, the size of, of the act, my actual base and chair and shit to, to take up less of the gameplay. But alright, so I guess we have to drive around in here and get these things or do we have to escape out? 
deeper and more of them. We're not gonna last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Uh, I was like, what the hell? Why are you fucking it? driving in front of me? Yeah. We can make it. Watch out, bitch. Oh, I saw some blood. What the hell are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. <laughs> Done that before. Me, me. Yeah, you guys just won't be able to see my health bar, but that's a good idea. Just give me a second. Uh, but the face size is okay. <laughs> and Canadian says there's no Civ map. Very, very good point, my friend. All right, so oh, I'm shifting myself over first. Okay, so I'll be right in the corner and unlock that again and unlock this and shift it over. Okay, there's that, lock that up, and then switch me a wee little bit, because I'm so anal that, to see this in the bottom left-hand corner, how you can see my left arm? <laughs> that bugs me, so I'm going to hide it there. Alright, so we got that all figured out. Let's get back into the game here. Um, and So Monster asks, it's like San Andreas. Uh, I, it's similar, like it's a third-person shooter, but that's about as far, or as close to San Andreas as it gets. Like this is, it's a third-person shooter, but like, it's really, really focused on realism and, and, and plot and story and dialogue rather than, like, entertainment and, like, sheer spectacle. Like, Grand Theft Auto is more for, like... Yeah, it's, like, less of a serious plot line. You know what I mean? Uh, but, yeah. All right. So, let's get back into this. I'm super excited. Like I said, like, I, I love the franchise and I've never played this game other than for a few hours. So, I'm so, so, so... And that was when I was fucking 17 so it's been a while 16 or 17 so and i'm 34 now to put it in perspective so this is basically all brand new as far as i'm concerned okay so little italy now right. your night's not over it's so friendly with coming. us you think he squealed i think you zip it tight we talk it through back at the bar it's gonna take me a little bit to get accustomed to the driving too because freaking uh it is on that like simulation mode or whatever i think yeah okay space is my e-brake though or whatever so i should be able to use that a, a little bit as we need to but yeah let's try and cut this guy off because fuck okay, him why not we're close a little over in front of that bar to the aries place yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Salieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you wanted it at poker. This 
scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid. Kid, he looks as young as we do, for fuck's sakes. Come on now. And yes, I, I did get my energy drink. I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but... I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. Alex says, I want to watch, but I also don't want to spoil it. I've never played it before, and Mafia 2 is in my top five video games. Yeah, don't watch this then. Alex, thanks for popping by, man, but get the fuck out of here. Really, trust me. Like, it's going to be that good. Like, I just, I know, because the original game was the one that's the fan favorite. Like, I, I haven't played this. I don't know what happens. But I know that, like, everybody who loves the Mafia trilogy, Mafia 1 is basically their favorite game. Wow, the majority. Some like Mafia 2 better, but... Either way, it's widely acclaimed to be a good game to begin with, and they kept the storyline basically the exact same with a, a couple, I think, I think they added a couple missions in, but they basically just took, took the base game, they redid the voice acting, redid the facial animations and everything, and then created it in a brand new, um, brand new game engine, so that's how we're playing in 4K and everything with the good graphics, um. But yes, to answer your question, rank one, I did get my energy drink, that's what I was showing you there when <laughs> the microphone was muted. So it's helping perk me up a little bit. Um, and then quickly, I just want to take two seconds here and then we'll get right back into the game. I just want to grab the link from Fanatical for anybody who is interested in buying the game. I'm going to quickly check if it's any cheaper on Steam than Fanatical. Otherwise, I won't even bother. Like if Steam has it cheaper, I won't bother. But they're usually pretty much the same. Otherwise, Fanatical has sales too. Like even the day of. Like say when New Frontier came out, I bought it from Steam directly and then found out that fanatical had it for 10 percent off <laughs> like the same at the same time so i should have bought it from fanatical and i would have got an extra five percent for myself but i'm just doing it off screen so you don't have to worry about it um yeah it's 10 percent off uh hold on mafia Different images Yeah, all of them are 10% are off right now, and I'll check Steam quickly before I grab the link. Um, I'm pretty sure it's at regular price, but I just want to confirm before I tell anybody otherwise, because I like to be honest in all that fun stuff. It's always a good policy. Yeah, and it's full price on Steam. Yeah, I know it is. Yeah, so it's for it's full price. It's forty nine ninety nine here on Steam, and on Fanatical right now it is forty five ninety nine. Uh, so I'm just gonna put the link in the description here. What one second? And let's see when the sale ends. It usually tells you. Just one second. Uh, it doesn't say when it's ending, but it is 10% off. So cool. And then. I just got to add it to the description of the stream here <clears throat> so how's everybody else's day going have any of you played uh, the new sieves for yourself
This is a message to all streamers. Trust me, it's going to be legendary. All right. There we go. And I'll throw the link there in the channel. If any of you do think about buying it and you want to support the channel at the same time, like I said, it's 10% cheaper right now on Fanatical than it is on Steam. And you like they Fanatical works with Steam and you get 100% guaranteed legal Steam keys from them. So that's what I did too. Like don't, that's how I'm playing this right now. And it's all on Steam, as you can see, obviously. Um, like it's in my library is what I mean, right? Uh, but anyways, back to the game. Enough about that. Let's continue on our merry way and have some fun here, shall we? Uh, there we go. There we go. Oh, thanks, Alec. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. That'd be freaking awesome. Alex says, yo, I'll order, order through that link right now and refund the one I bought on Steam. Yeah, just make sure make sure you refund the one you buy on Steam first before you redeem the key that you get from fanatical right because like steam um steam won't let you refund it if you have played it for more than two hours so make sure you get the refund and they confirm it before you activate the other key that you get from fanatical otherwise like i don't i wouldn't want you to get it fucked and like buy a game twice like if that does happen though alec let me know message me or here or in discord or whatever and i'll I'll try and get you the money for, for the game, and I'll just raffle off the second key at some point in the future. Uh, but that, I wouldn't be able to pay you for like two weeks because I'm broke until I get paid again. But the thought is there. But yeah, it should be fine. Just make sure, like I said, make sure your refund goes through on Steam first. Anywho, enough of that crap. Let's get back to this game, shall we? Um, but yeah, Alec, I, like I said, I wouldn't watch this. I, I would take off because <laughs> we're going to keep playing here and I'm going to be playing until I don't want to play, which is probably going to be for like most of the night <laughs> at this point. But anywho, uh, yeah, let's rock and roll and get going here. So yeah, it's back. Okay, good. The game is back on. So let's continue. Again, I'm not going to be talking during any cutscenes or anything, so uh, I'll be checking chat after the cutscene and like following up if, if I miss something that you say. I After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. Jesus, what a fucking cunt. Hurry, <laughs> I have an appointment. Alright, sounds sounds good, Alec. And um 
what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, but thank you for doing that. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> so where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Ooh, directly. No, I thought I was going to take you the scenic route, you frickin' fat cook. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. I seriously want to drive into the side of a building just to find kill it. This is what I mean, the traffic is so realistic in this game. <laughs> I'm surprised she isn't screaming. I can't hear myself think. That's much better. Can I get you some food too, so, lady? Church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. <laughs> I seriously feel like just swerving right there. <laughs> God, this game looks fucking beautiful, though. Like, they did such a nice job with it. Alright, nice. The e-brake works actually really easily. Oh, shit, I better slow down. I see a cop. I don't know how... Because this is my first taste of this difficulty level, I don't know how... Stop there. By the park. Yeah, I'm going to leave. There's a fucking car ahead of us. But I don't know how, like, I know they do pull you over for speeding and stuff, but I don't know how stringent Here you go. they are, Save obviously, Michaels. until we find out. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip <laughs> I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure, <laughs> whatever you say. was worth every minute. <laughs> I will gladly reload from the last checkpoint for satisfying my desire. I'm sorry, I'm savage. What can I say? All right. Okay, so I guess we're looking for new fares now. Okay. Say hey there. I guess they're just gonna flag us or something. <laughs> Arjun's laughing. Okay, so I'm guessing you guys caught up to where I ran that lady over. <laughs> Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay between when you see it and what where where I'm reacting to what you're reacting to right now. Hopefully we get a fare soon. I, but, oh, never mind. I see it on our mini map. I was just going to say, I don't know why we have to drive around, but I see that there's a white dot, so that must be a passenger to pick up. Gallery. Give me that quick. Sure. Quick I can do. That's a nice pretty car. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. <laughs> Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Solo before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. 
Your busy day's gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, <laughs> drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. God, he's lucky I don't don't have free reign to kill him, otherwise I would. I couldn't imagine dealing with that, like, legitimately. Like, I know they're, like, you know, whatever, doing it for the video game, but freaking, I would, like, lose my shit. Looks like the cops want to work with you, pal. Okay, arrest the guy. Fuck's sakes. All right, well, now we know that I, I gotta drive fast, but not too fast. Art gallery. Give me that quick. Because while we're still sure. actually quick, legal, we have to, like, that's a reset, but once we get out of this Taking tutorial mode... Time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just... So I have to do a better job of paying I'm attention paying for the cost. drive, so do that. Yeah, there's a cop Look to our left, there. or to the our right, I should say. The is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. All right, I think we should I be... I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw Good them to the crash. here so far. I don't so see yeah, any cops on our mini-map. I get map. to be busy. Your busy day is going to be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Hop ahead of us. Thank God for the mini map. <laughs> All right, 49 seconds. I think I should be good. With that freaking cop right there, it's a bit of a pain in the ass because he's on the street that we're about to turn onto. Yeah, it's not far. It's just around the corner, so we should be okay, I think. Pull up in front of the gallery. Thanks, pal. There's 50 cents. I don't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. <laughs> On to the On next. To the next. Well, that... That sounds ominous. Almost like foreshadowing. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Thanks for the heads you up, Canadian. Like shit. Again, like I said, I've been there's... working since five. What's your excuse? <laughs> Those figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, twenty-first Street. <laughs> He's right, liquor. Okay. Now. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Oh. Yeah, some. I don't know how to beat the horn. But never it's not enough. cab, obviously. Who's got the money for a cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I am drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <clears throat> this city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. There's another cop ahead of us, so I gotta slow down. Ah, 
still gotta get the hang of that a little bit. Go, go. Jesus. Come on. Up here on, on the corner, please. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. I'm assuming shit's about to pop off. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Must be one of the guys that we huh? fucking got away from. Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help in Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while. Eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. Oh boy, I'm gonna freaking kill these fuckers. Well, I'm not going to, I'm sure, but. Alright, so it's very similar to freaking Mafia 3, so it should be easy for me to get down. Oh, fuck off. Go, 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 go. I wonder if I freaking dodge like this if it helps. <laughs> I feel stupid doing it though. Doing, kid. Dino, Lou, you got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there. That's all. That right? Yeah. What well, is he? Is the Don's favorite driver? So I anything like you gotta say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed. That's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. <laughs> Polly. <laughs> okay then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> hey, thanks. <laughs> Least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri. Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. <laughs> Forest Pizza Gump Canadian says, yeah. All right, we finished running, man. High five. <laughs> Okay, I do have my mic on. I thought it was muted for a second. I am going to mute it now, though. What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. 
So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellis girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You're gonna ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna get good real fast. I can't wait to go fucking smash these cars up because I know it's gonna go so smoothly, and I'm assuming that we're gonna get into some shit. Hey, Sleepy. Uh, how's it going, man? Sleepy says anything in specific you want me to ask about in terms of 3D prints? No, just anything would be cool, like anything at all. I mean, if it could be custom. I mean, if it could be like Diablo themed, but still say like Gamer Gramps on it, like at, somewhere on it, that would be super crazy. But like. I'm not expecting anything, like, so anything at all would be fucking crazy awesome, man. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need yeah, to. Yeah, Sleepy, I totally uh, forgot about that too, so. Heavy lifting. Make so sure thanks for, uh. For when there's trouble. Thanks for remembering, because I totally forgot all about that. I'm going to Vincenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's going to sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelou. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or rods? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! If the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. True, hopefully we get the cocktails. Aye, aye. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. <laughs> well, this looks this has looks like it has a recipe Ralph to get interesting real quick. He's a special kind of idiot. Uh, He's got a way with cars. <laughs> Sleepy says, I'll see what I can coerce him into doing that. Yeah, for sure, man. Anything. Like I said, anything would be crazy. Doesn't have to say Game of Gramps or anything, but that would be the... the the freaking wet dream but yeah like oh my god man like that Lilith thing or a, like anything at all even Diablo himself or like anything Rank says when are you gonna rob the bank I don't know <laughs> I've never never played the game really other than for a couple hours so I have no idea you can't just sneak up on a guy like that I'm sorry Ralphie I'm just busting your balls See, you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 sure Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. 
I don't like how he's doing a fucking trick to him, man. It makes me want to fucking hit Polly. One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. Yeah, and that's what happens. True story. Well, no, I don't know that's what happens in the game, but show you something about that's what happens when you cheat people like shit. You get what's coming. What 20 years ago? If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Stick a tin can. So, uh, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yeah, new supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay. So long as we're careful. An eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, you want a bottle? Just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, it's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. But we even have to get gas. Look at this, like empty and, empty and full. Parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let them see your face. Either that, or you hit them so hard they don't remember it. God, it's freaking beautiful, though. Like, look at that city. On foot. I don't think the cops on foot can, can pull us over. Well, not pull us over, but... I don't think they, like, have radios or something to call. I think they need to be in a car, so we should be okay, I think. But I guess we'll find out one way or the other. We're getting on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though, in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in a rural part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. <laughs> Sleepy says I'm ready to be shocked by the gas okay, prices in the game. By. Goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. <laughs> Get there someday. I wonder why C's oh, not crouched. No one tries to pop them. C's a lot easier to hold on. I want to see what C is binded to. Manual transmission, neutral gear. Yeah, I think we should be good to switch stock to C. Because this is only when we're walking anyway, so it should be just fine. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump from behind. 
not good at distracting. It's the best thing. Actually, careful. What's that? Get money on that. Ah, uh, he's good for it. Hey! What the hell are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. <laughs> what the hell are you doing back there? What? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to get Morello a black guy. And Dino makes you cart the cars? Listen, fella. Yeah. Hey, you say it was just one time when I had a chance to get him from... <laughs> Alright, so now for the fun. Now let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Like really, it, it really is. Like, <laughs> and you could do fast ones. Ah oh, crap! Or hold it. Hey, get away from the car! Come in the time. I'll make it. Left That's some kind of death left. wish. <laughs> Oh, right in the freaking back of the leg. I don't know if I like the attack being Q, though. I don't know why it's not freaking. Love your work. Whole block heard that. Use the bat to finish him off. But oh. I don't. Yeah, I don't know why it's not just left click. Like it doesn't. That doesn't make sense to me. Probably because the gun. I guess it's. It's probably me melee. I don't like you, and you got a good car. I'm gonna know where you keep. There's reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. and we can take it. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bulls show. Gotta hit. Don't let him get away. Drive. Come back. Drive. Don't get it, boys. Get him. Punch out. Ah shit. We got cops. So uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed, but let's not get them real pissed. <laughs> I was trying to let him slide by us. Not so lucky, I guess. Come on, boys, let's go. God, the realistic driving is going to take a lot to get used to. Alright, come on, Tommy, you can do this, buddy. Let's go. Oh, okay, yeah, those exclamation marks are coming up. Good, we got a place where I can lose them coming up on the left. Still gotta get the okay. hang of those. We lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. Alright, so it's good to know those white things. We can like drive through them and frickin' get rid. They're like points where we can lose them. Drive safe. They're still looking for us. Alright, so I think we're good to like drive carefully now. So we don't attract attention. I don't know. I don't know if they'll if they'll freaking automatically see us. Nice. Alright, we're good to go. Okay, good. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. Do you have to do the Model T Tango in this game? I don't know. I've, like I said, I've only played a couple hours of the original, and that was when I was like 16 or 17. Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. No time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just 
just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beep motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, slow enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle. Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made or you like Carlo, whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. There's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. The plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. I'm good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. Just waiting for that cop there to go, so now we can cut across. So I guess this is home sweet home now. <laughs> we leave in a shit box and come back in this. The car I sent you out with dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. Up of a better car with a broken window. Fresh air never killed nobody. <laughs> I don't like how he's a dick to him, though. I really don't. That bugs me. But yeah, Sleepy, I guess we'll, we'll find out together. Well, not together, because you, you got to run to your game there in a little bit. But but yeah, so this is basically all brand new to me. He's still with you, then. Somehow. Yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morello... He's a hothead, and all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands, make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. <laughs> and the man who needs to oh, yes, I'm fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, Stay out of trouble. That little look cops. leads me to believe that the other guy's dealing drugs. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on the payroll because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that Loyalty. should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy?
They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Sleepy says so. Okay, oh, then. I'll wait, sorry. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Somehow I don't think it would Luigi. be that easy. Let's see. But welcome. For the sake of the game, I'm glad it was a short introduction because things are going to heat up real quick. A and I'm looking forward Luigi. to it. It's not much of a cook. But his daughter, Sarah, my own. <laughs> he sounds more like I like that guy better than I like Polly so far. All right. Chapter complete. Molotov pot or tea. Uh, so Sleepy says, so this is during Prohibition and they're bootlegging alcohol? Yes, this is during Prohibition. Right now, we are playing in the 1930s, like, like literally in 1930. I'm not sure how, um, I'm not sure how far the story progresses. I think it goes up into the 40s. Like, I think it's like the story is told over like a decade or something. But again, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, so again. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't going to get me clipped. Come on, <laughs> but what did I know? <laughs> you, Tommy? Come on, there's yeah, gas in your tank. boss get is waiting back. for you. Thanks. Ignora quelli idiota. Arrendi. Ah, potrai combattere ancora. Up to boy. Yes, sir. There he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Now, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Nice. Looks, looks like we get a gun. Bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Hey, Raider Gaming, how's it going? Not much, man. We are playing Mafia 1 Definitive Edition. I've only played the original game for a couple hours so i've n i don't know how the story goes i don't know how it ends all the only thing i know is what we already have discovered and the game starts off where we're in a coffee shop talking to a cop and we're looking to rat out because like our life is in danger so i'm not too thrilled about that but i have no idea how we get to that place and that's what that's where we're at basically we're just a taxi driver we freaking uh we're in the wrong place at the right time or the right place at the wrong time, however you want to look at it. And, uh, yeah, and then we've kind of managed our way to get into the gang here. So that's where we are. Hey, just the guy. <laughs> Saints played good. Not this. good enough, though. But and I thought of you. Nice. So we do get a gun. It's a little freaking pea shooter, but we'll take it. Carry I... Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Am I just that boy? Oh, Good I am that boy. You're real mean. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay. Now show me a reload. How, how do you reload? To, oh, take ammo from the crate. I open the chamber and away you go. Hard right, to reload. Okay, right. so yeah. That's Last why Q, Q is the melee weapon. Trust me, it's going to be legendary. Hey, Brennan, thanks for subscribing, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm assuming you're here. It might just be somebody on the YouTube thing, but 
either way i appreciate it glad get behind some and don't shit yourself thanks vincenzo let's grab our first magazine here vincenzo to you it's funny look at buddy looking up her skirt all right so at least we got a piece now that should make it a little bit more interesting. Looks like we are going to get into some shit of some sort on this mission, so that is always good. Look, to Let's go grab today. our car. I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And an afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. Yeah, I like how he treats him with respect. I like that. Oh, hey, Raider. No pressure. If you want, though, uh, like, Steam has the game. But if you buy your Steam key from Fanatical, like the company that I work with, it's Fanatical actually has it on sale for 10% off right now. So there's a link in the description below. Uh, if you want, I'll throw it in the chat there for you too. But if they like Fanatical, they're a company they work directly with Steam, so it's not like it's a bootleg copy or something. You get an official Steam key, and then you you play the game on Steam. Like we're we're in Steam right now. If I go to my Steam library, like you can see Mafia Definitive Edition right there. But it's ten percent off, so it's forty nine ninety nine Canadian right now on Steam, and it's forty four Canadian forty four ninety nine Canadian at uh fanatical if you're interested but if not no worries don't worry at all just thought i'd mention that since you did mention that you're get, grabbing it tomorrow uh and yeah it's basically mafia 3 in disguise oh okay you own a playstation 4 yeah no worries no worries at all man uh yeah it's it's mafia 1 and the mafia 3 engine that's how like we're in 4k and everything right now all right so hold v to pick the lock Oh, it takes time. Okay, so that's the difference. If you're in a rush, you okay. break the, the window. You got it. All right, pretty pretty easy to remember. If you're in a rush, smash the window with E. Otherwise, pick the lock with V, and then you won't have a damaged vehicle. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again. <laughs> Drive into so. the fucking wall. <laughs> that's too that bad. wasn't my fault though. The screen disappeared. There we, I'm freaking blind. I was gonna say, where's the end or the exit? Because I was following the yellow thing, but I should be looking at the map, not the yellow thing. There we go. Once you're out of the garage, I guess you get the uh, the waypoint to follow. It's forty dollars on PS4. Yeah, I'm assuming that's American though, right? Because you gotta remember, I'm talking Canadian, so like 40, 44 99 would be like 30, 36, 37 for you probably. But actually, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go grab another slice of pizza. I'm, I'm <laughs> kind of starving to be honest. I've been at this all day.
All right, I'm back here. Sorry about the wait there. <clears throat> hey, Cotton, how's it going? Um, do they have a new soundtrack, like, on the radio? I'm not sure if they made it a completely new one. I know they did a completely new theme song, but I think it might be remastered original track, or remastered radio tracks from the original game. I'm not 100% sure, though, because I didn't play it very much, so I can't really, can't really say for sure. You'd have to kind of Google it, um, Raider there. Uh, yeah, I'm fr uh, and I'm in, I'm from the U.S. Years years after Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> we are back in business. How's it going, Cotton? So, just to give you guys a heads up, too, after we finish this mission, I'm actually gonna pull the plug for the night. I didn't get the best of sleeps to begin with, and then I've been streaming since like one, playing the Civilization stuff and whatnot. But uh, I'm already hooked on the game. I'll tell you that right now. So I'll be streaming again tomorrow before the Twitch stream. Uh, I'll probably be starting in the morning. It'll, like, the morning my time, so that's Eastern Standard Time. Um, but it all just depends what time I wake up, so I, I don't want it to say a time and then not be able to live up to it. So, let's get back to the game while we do have the time. Cotton says, what's the TLDR? TLDR is we were a cab driver and we got involved. We were in the right place at the wrong time sort of thing. Okay, and this is it. Got involved with a mafia crew. And then Watch what we do today, Tom. When and then we slowly got involved with them through the story Sometimes so far. And now feet. we are officially sure. in their family, but we are just like... This is our first mission, really, as a member of the family. So, uh... We should, we're, we are supposed to be playing a smaller role, but we'll see how the story ends up. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Hi. Not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. <laughs> That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No? Raider, it's set in a fictional like city that. called New Haven. Yeah. But it, uh, it's based on New York. The architecture and stuff is based on, in New York, as far as I understand. See you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without payment? You gonna get the dough or what, Tom? Nice, you got a little cigarette card there. Where's the money? Run, fetch up. <laughs> it's on at the table, brown envelope. I like how she just freaking trips us right out in Italian. Via di qui. Lasciate ci in pace. I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your ma. Huh? <laughs> the spicy meatball in the back. Raider Gaming says okay. they're playing Next 60s jazz. Yeah, I don't know bus. enough about music to, store up on tower. to be able to tell. I have no yet? idea. Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. Guy who used to run this next place, Tom? His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. Oh, it's a cop ahead of us, so I gotta slow down. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminding too. Alright, so that that drifting was a little bit easier with the e-brake. I think I might be getting the hang of it. That'll go. It's off.
Raider says, my heritage is Italian, Mexican, and Irish. Oh, okay. I'm Polish, Ukrainian, and Irish. I still, like, just, this freaking, it's so beautiful in the city. And vibrant, like the colors and everything. This like, is it. I love it. But yeah, definitely I'm going to stream this before. I'll cover this one, Sam. You're definitely going to be doing this before freaking uh, we play Gaul tomorrow at 4 on Twitch. Oh yeah, in case you are new here and you don't know. Oh, I don't like how I have to tab out with this game. But uh, yeah, I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I only stream Civilization on Twitch, though. I don't stream other games. So if you're interested, it's Twitch TV slash GamerGramps. But... Again, he's doing this like I said, that's supposed own. to be nice and yeah, smooth and on the top of the game, but this game's a little bit weird. It out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. See, I like Sam. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. I hope we get to kill Polly at some point in this game. Or he just dies. I like the Sam guy, though. He seems like a cool guy. Here he comes. I He's think he called it blood money. Sang equals blood. Okay, good to know. Thanks for the heads up, Sleepy. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? <laughs> and nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I. You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you oughta... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, <laughs> huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I can smell the anyway. crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> When little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out God, here it's the worse. Graphics look so How nice, come so? there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. Safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop I before think, uh... lost heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's Motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. I think I know Tell this mission. I think I saw them do it the on families the preview use it for this. Even the they did like a 15 minute piece. game clip. So sure. I think Plus it's, it's far shit's enough away to go down cares. real soon. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Yeah, def- Oh shit, I hit shift. Stupid steam. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? 
You not one for the great uh, outdoors, Polly? He's not one hey, Jigger, how's it going? First time watching him off is just like GTA. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really like GTA, except for instead of like all flashy and like entertaining, it's more like uh, serious and like plot driven with dialogue and stuff like that. Like it's more realistic, basically. Uh, That's why it's good. Please just have fun. It's time for me to roll some dice and do some big bad voice acting. <laughs> all right, have fun sleeping. And thanks again for remembering about that. I it completely slipped my mind and. That, like I said, anything at all, that would be freaking amazing, man. Like, anything. <laughs> and like I said, let me know when it's ready and I'll pay for the shipping. Thank God for the waypoints, though. I'd be so lost right now. I mean, I wouldn't mind driving because everything looks so fucking beautiful, but still. I can't wait till we get to ride on a motorbike. Okay. There it is. Finally. Or no, this isn't the mission I'm, I'm thinking of. But I have, no, I, here, I have no idea what's going to happen We'll here. be back in a bit. Okay. <laughs> We're a rebel now, you see that? We look at the no smoking sign and like we're too cool for that. <laughs> Damn it! I took what? Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to beat information out. I gotta get you to a doctor. I can wait. Get Sam out of there! <laughs> Here we go. We got the gun for a reason. Now we get to use it. We'll see how poor my freaking accuracy is. Let's have some fun. Wonder if there's a back way around. Who wrecked the motors? Give me a name. Herbert Hoover. Alright, so. Next time I'll tell him. I'll tell him I had enough of this bullshit. It won't be a next time, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was satisfying. Hide his body over here. How do I drop it? Uh, why? Okay, cool. Other guys get all the best jobs. Sick of being out of here. Oh shit! Well, there goes our stealth. There. <laughs> Check over there. Maybe he's over there. <clears throat> Two headshots in a row. Guess my accuracy isn't too bad after all. And the reason I'm not reloading right away is because we're on the hardest. Yeah, I'll pick up the baseball bat too. Oh, I didn't drop my gun, did I? What the hell? I, where? I need to see what the controls are to get like weapon wheel or something. Did we literally drop our gun? Or maybe we don't have any ammo? I'm on him. You're in my sights. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Swing bada bada. Okay, how come I can't pick up his fucking gun? It's what I I don't want to pick up his body, I want his gun. Oh, there we go. Fucking no shit. 
It's just m the mouse wheels to scroll. I'm used to Mafia 3, though, when you press V, you get, like, this, you can, like, see where everybody is kind of thing. So this is definitely more realistic. I like it. All right, let's go make a move for the inside. Oh, there's Molotovs all over here, too, or ammo. Oh, shit. I think they're gonna come out, so I think we're okay. Okay, let's head to this wall. Why do you keep pulling the fucking bat out, buddy? Time's a charm. I need to get used to the freaking cover system in this, though. It's not as smooth as I'd like. I love not ha or not being able to just reload, though. Never mind, it switches to the melee weapon when I, I go into crouch. Alright, so he's downstairs. I guess there's nobody up here. So let's head down there and clear out whoever's left. I haven't noticed if there's radar yet, though. Oh, nice. We got first aid. Thank you. I will take that. Alright. got another card. Roberto Gilati for City Council 1930, a trusted figure in Los Haig, been owner of boats, an industry employer of thousands, friend of the city, probably loving father and husband, I would guess. Gotcha now. Yeah, you fucking bet. You... Go back again. Yeah. Nice. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything behind the bar. Alright, here we go. I wonder, can we hide behind the wall and open the door? No, it doesn't look like it. Sam. They really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Please, please smash his face. He's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Here we go, Forrest Pizza Gump again. <laughs> He's okay. Inside. Go get the money. Okay, so we can shoot while driving. I'm not gonna waste bullets. Oh, I have unlimited bullets, Never mind. I wasn't gonna waste them, but since I have unlimited, we'll get a little bit closer. Oh shit, maybe I should be shooting. All enemies, though? No, right? Yeah. They must be if I can aim at them. Ah. 
<sighs> Did I miss a health cotton? I thought I grabbed it. Or was there a second one that I missed? All right, so we'll give it another go here. Yeah, so looks like those are all their cars. I thought they were innocent, so I wasn't shooting He's at the okay. green one. Inside. I thought it was just the yellow one we were after, but we got to start shooting at all those cars. Was there health back here that I missed? No, right? But yeah, since we have unlimited ammo... Reload though, so just shoot. Get going, buddy. Fucking pedal to the metal. Ah. No, I'm good now. Okay, yeah, because there's that delay. Sorry, I, I didn't know whether I missed something or not, but thanks for the heads up. All right, so hopefully, third time will be the charm here. And because we're on the hardest difficulty, we don't start with full health. Like when it's we're okay. restarting here, I'm still Inside. as injured as I was the in the actual mission, so I like that. Hopefully we won't struggle too hard. Alright, I'm driving completely blind at the moment. Try not to drive into any walls this time, Tyler. You can do this. Realistic driving is pain in the ass. Come on, buddy, you can do it. No, you can't. God damn it. There's an exploit here. I don't know if they patched it for the new one. Oh, I wouldn't use an exploit even if they even if they hadn't patched it yet or not. I, I don't I don't know. Like I don't judge anybody. Play the game how you want. But I, I don't use exploits in any of the games I play. All right. We got farther that time around. I think I'm getting the hang of the shooting thing. At least I didn't drive into the tunnel wall, so that's progress, I suppose. And now I can start shooting at these guys right away. I'm trying to get the driver, though. Because I'd like to take this car out before we get to that other car comes on the road. I don't know how to shift the aim though, like to target the, the passenger. All right, that's one down. And this time I didn't smash anything, so that's something. All right, there we go. I think, I think we should. Oh fuck me! I just jinxed us. I was just about to say I think we should be good. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh no, that's freaking heartbreaking. Oh, so heartbreaking. <laughs> okay, I think we should be. <laughs> Holy Christ. Alright, Ty, get your shit together. Let's go. Where is Sam? He's okay. 
Inside. Let's go get the money! All right, so let's... I'm trying to see if I can aim at the guy who pops out of the window. It that I don't it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, cuz if I hold I think I hit the guy though. The shooter in the in the second car. I don't know if it's scripted that they crash here though, so I'm hanging back waiting to see. Oh come on, as if. And now the screen blacks out too. Oh, fuck sakes. shoot the tires i i know that like that's what i'm trying to say is that like that little red aim dot i can't seem to move it like i can't aim down or aim at the like i don't because i'm controlling the key and my mouse like i tried holding like right mouse button to like change the aim and it just changes the camera angle while we're driving so i i have no idea i'm gonna try the mouse wheel this time and see if it like cycles through the targets or something because again or actually maybe let's check the, see if it's listed under the controls Is it going to be different when driving? Uh, mouse left, ram, F, aim, drop, slash, drop, equipment, G. Oh, okay. So we'll try G. He's okay. Inside. And go get the money! All right. trying to see yeah I don't think you can can change it at least not that I can fucking figure out because you got to remember like auto aim and everything is off right now right So I gotta watch for these cars because they're gonna crash again. All right. Not fucking jinxing myself this time. Want to empty my clip, so we're all ready with the full one. Let's get in nice and close to this fucker. Just gonna stay on the road and wait for him to come to us. All right, so F to ram other vehicles. I don't know if we're scripted and have to, because I'd rather just shoot at him with unlimited ammo. That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Just for good I measure. I took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. <laughs> Chapter complete. Ordinary routine. 
<laughs> Zephyr says, I've never seen him so concentrated before. How you doing, Zephyr? Good to see you. Bye. Yeah, I'm right into this shit, man. Unfortunately, though, you came out of bad timing because I am pulling the plug tonight. However, I will be streaming this for sure 100% tomorrow. Like, literally, as soon as I wake up and take the dogs out and maybe publish a video, maybe not. Probably just play, to be completely honest. I'm not going to lie. Because uh, I'm hooked. Uh, the only reason I'm quitting right now is because I have to talk to my graphic designer about something and I am kind of tired so I want to just freaking have a real laid back night tonight it's only 10 here where I am but I'm gonna freaking just chill out and uh watch some of the boys because the new episode comes or sorry the new episodes come out Friday but I, I haven't watched the last two weeks so I'm just gonna take it a little bit easy but yeah anywho uh, thank you all for watching and hanging out with me here as we play it. Like I said, I will be definitely streaming this again tomorrow morning, my time. Uh, just all depends on when I wake up. So uh, I'll have something up like a, I'll have a scheduled stream on the channel as soon as I know for sure that my ass is out of bed and I can take care of these wonderful dogs over here, eh, Shadow? Hey, eh? are you a tough guy? Oh, <laughs> I'd fuck you up. I would. Yes, I would. Okay. <laughs> But anyways, I am done for the night, so thank you, everybody. Oh, now Jinxie's here. Come here, Jinxie. Jinx. Good girl, come up. Oh, you're getting fat, girl. Oh. But yeah. So that is it. We I won't be playing any of this game offline either. We will be uh, streaming it all. Jinx, no. We'll be streaming it all on the channel, so you're not going to miss anything if you are wanting to follow along with me and you won't be playing it for yourself. Otherwise, there is a link down below, too. If you get it right now, I don't know how long the sale ends because there wasn't a timer on it. Uh, but right now, this game is $49.99 Canadian on Steam. But Fanatical, the company that I work with, gets official Steam keys, and they have a sale on for 10% off right now. So it's actually cheaper to get it at Fanatical right now than it is on Steam. And you get an official Steam key from them because they work directly with Steam and get like affiliate deals and stuff like that. So if you're interested, the link is in the description. Otherwise, I'll pop it into the chat here quickly as well. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I am done for a night for the night. So hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow. But uh, but yeah, anyways, adios, amigos, and have yourselves 